It's a health screening that most people don't want to talk about, colonoscopies. But colon cancer screenings can be life-saving if detected early. Dr. Jennifer Kuyak is here to talk about a newer test that's a little less invasive. Good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So tell us about a virtual colonoscopy. What is it and how is it different than a traditional colonoscopy? A virtual colonoscopy is a less invasive test. It uses a CT scanner mm -hmm. to look at the colon very similar to a traditional colonoscopy. It's less invasive because you get to use just a small tube. You come in the day of the exam with no sedation. Okay. And the technologist will scan you twice, once on your back, once in your belly. And we look at the colon and we also look at all the other organs outside of the colon, which doesn't happen in a traditional colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. Why is early detection so important? Early detection is so important because 94%, up to 94% of colon cancers can be prevented if mm -hmm. caught early. Okay. And greater than a third of the patient, a third of the people 50 and older are not being screened currently. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge issue right now where a lot of people are not being screened. What age should someone start colonoscopies? Um, should, traditionally age 50 and older. Okay. Um, if you have a family history of colon cancer, mm -hmm. Um, you should screen earlier, as mm -hmm. early as 40. Mm -hmm. um, if you're uh, African American or Latino, you should talk to your physician because um, mm -hmm. you may want to be screened earlier as well. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the disadvantages of a virtual colonoscopy? Um, there's a couple disadvantages. One disadvantage is that when we cannot remove the polyp or cancer while um, we're doing the CT study, where a traditional colonoscopy, they can actually take the polyp out the time of the exam. Wow. Okay. Um, the, that's pretty much the only disadvantage. Okay. And so who is the ideal candidate for these virtual colonoscopies? Um, anyone can get a virtual colonoscopy. So the ideal candidate is anyone. Um, what they're really good for are people who can't have sedation for some mm. reason. If they have lung um, issues, they have breathing issues, cardiac issues, they may be frail. Um, and then um, with uh, virtual colonoscopy, you don't have to take a day off of work and you don't have sedation. So yeah. I think those are um, kind of good candidates, but pretty much anyone can have a virtual colonoscopy if they would like one. Mm -hmm. It's recommended, it's one of the recommended screening tools um, by the American Cancer Society. Okay, and yeah, when it's less invasive like that, it makes it a lot easier and a lot more palatable to people. Right. So, thank you so much, doctor. Uh, we really appreciate welcome. it. And for more information about virtual screenings or colon cancer, head to our website kcal9.com and make sure to click on scene on tv 